The first kind of lens we are going to study is concave lens. What is concave lens? A concave lens is usually made of glass or made of perspex. For a concave lens, the middle of the lens is thinner than that of the edge. This kind of lens is called concave lens. There are two types of concave lens. The first one is cylindrical concave lens. And the other type is spherical concave lens. The light bisect the concave lens into two equal half is called principal axis. When a light wave traveling in a direction parallel to the principal axis, due to refraction, the light wave will bend in the direction shown. In this case, the light wave will bend away from the principal axis. Consider another light wave parallel to the principal axis as shown. Due to reflection, it will bend in a direction away from the principal axis. Since the incidence parallel light waves will eventually diverge after passing through the lens. Therefore, concave lens is also called diverging lens. When there are three parallel weights parallel to the principal axis traveling towards the concave lens, after reflection, the light waves will diverge. By producing the refracted light backward, they will meet at a point that we say this point is called focus. For a lens, there are two focus equal distance from the lens. The center of the lens is called optic center. And the distance between the focus and the center of the lens is called focal length. For a thinner concave lens, this parallel light wave will reflect in a greater extent. Therefore, the focus will be closer to, to the lens. Therefore, the focal length is shorter. As a result, a thinner lens has shorter focal length. For a concave lens, the plane perpendicular to the principal axis and passing through the focus is called focal plane. When parallel weight passing through the concave lens, they will reflect by producing the reflected light backward. They will meet at a point 
on the focal plane. Notice that the light wave passing through the center of the lens will travel in a straight line. Example 1. Compute the light waves in the following diagram where F is the focus of the lens. First, let's draw the focal plane. Then, we compute the light waves passing through the center of the lens. We travel along the straight line and produce this light wave backward meet the focal plane at this point, P. Other light waves parallel to this light wave will be reflected in the directions after producing backward will passing through the same point P. Therefore, we can draw the reflected light waves easily. Notice that the symbol for drawing a concave lens can be used this or this. Special light waves for a concave lens. The light wave parallel to the principal axis will reflect in the directions passing through the focus on the other side. The light wave passing through the center of the lens will travel in a straight line. The light wave travel in the directions towards the focus on the other side will reflect in the directions parallel to the principal axis. This Three special light waves are very important for us to find the image form by concave lens by using wave diagram. Example 2. You are provided with the following apparatus, a wave box with a single slit, a power supply, a cylindrical concave lens, ruler and a sheet of paper. Describe with the aid of a diagram how you would use this apparatus to find the focal length of the concave lens. First, put the cylindrical concave lens on the sheet of paper. Next, we draw the principal axis on the sheet of paper. Then we connect the power supply to the wave box with a single slit. Next, we switch on the power supply and send a light wave in the directions parallel to the principal axis. And then, we produce the reflected light backwards until it cuts the principal axis at the point which we call focus. Next, we use the ruler to measure the distance between the focus and the lens. This is the focal length of the lens. Let's see the methods to find the image form by concave lens. The first method is by using wave diagram. When the object O is in front of the concave lens as shown, by using the special light waves, 
by drawing the first special light weight parallel to the principal axis of the reflections, the reflected light when produced backward is passing through the focus. For another light weight from O passing through the center in a straight line. These two reflected light waves, when produced backward, will meet at the point I. This is the point of the image of O. Hence, the image can be drawn as shown by using dotted lines. Then what are the properties of the image? From the diagram, we see that the image is virtual because there are low light waves actually converge at the point of the image I. Also, the image is erect or we say upright. And the image is diminished, or we say it is smaller. Also, the image and the objects are both on the same side of the lens. And lastly, the image is at a position between the focus and the lens. Among these properties, virtual image, erect image, and diminished image are also called the nature of the image. What is magnification from Dai Puiso? Magnification is defined as the ratio of image height to object height. From the way diagram shown, we have the object height is called H1 and the image height is H2. By definition, magnification of the lens equal to object height over image height, which is H2 over H1, and it is smaller than 1, because H2 is smaller than H1. Now we let the image distance to be equal to V, and the object distance to be equal to U. Since these two triangles are similar, therefore we have H2 over H1 equal to V over U. Therefore, magnification of the lens can be written as V over U, which is also smaller than 1. Example 3, described with the aid of a ray diagram, the changes to the image formed by a concave lens when the object is moved towards the lens. First, let's draw the image formed by a concave lens when the object is at a distance from the lens by using light weight we find that the image is at this position if the object is moved towards the lens we draw the new object positions as shown O pi 
and we use the way diagram to find the image again by using a special lightweight we find that the new image positions will be here we call it iPi from the way diagram we see that when the object is moved towards the lens the image size will be greater than before but it is still diminished Example 4 When a spectacle is placed in front of the clock an image of the clock is shown in the figure A. What kind of lens does the spectacle use? Explain your answer Because the image is erect and diminished Therefore, it is a concave lens or we say it is a diverging lens Part B, draw a way diagram to show how the image is formed by the lens We draw the image formed by a concave lens Put an object in front of the lens and using the special light weight to find it. We draw the position of the image. Use dotted light to draw the image. The image is erect. and diminished the diagram is complete example 5 in the diagram light waves P, Q, R and S send out from my object A, B part A complete the path of these light waves and draw the image since P and R are special light waves we draw these two reflected light first. For P, the reflected light will be in the directions as shown. For R, it travel in a straight line. Therefore, we find the image of AB to be A pi, B pi first. This light wave from A will eventually go to A pi and light wave from B will eventually go to B pi therefore the reflected light for P and R is found and then for Q it is this one and for S it must be this one part B what happens to the image if the lower part of the lens is covered by cardboard light wave from the objects AB cannot pass through the lower part of the lens however there are still light waves from AB can pass through the upper part of the lens only the amount of light waves passing through the lens decreases therefore the image is still exists but the image will be dimmer than before example 6 an object of height 10 cm is 20 cm in front of a concave lens 
The image is formed at 5 cm from the lens. Find the magnification and the image height. Now we have the optic height h1 equal to 10 cm, optic distance u equal to 20 cm, and the image distance v equal to 5 cm. By magnification equal to image distance over optic distance, that is m equal to v over u, we have magnification equal to 5 over 20, which is 1 over 4, or 0 0.25. By the formula, image height over optic height equal to image distance over optic distance, we have h2 over 10 equal to 5 over 20. Therefore, h2 equal to 2.5 cm, that is, the image height is 2.5 cm. Another way to find the image distance of a concave lens is by using lens formula. 1 over f equal to 1 over u plus 1 over v, where f is equal to the focal length, u is the optic distance, v is the image distance. By using the lens formula, for concave lens, the focal length is substituted by using negative side. And the optic distance, we substitute the positive values For the image distance, the values will be found with negative sign, which means that the image is virtual. Example 7. An object is 5 cm in front of a concave lens of focal length 10 cm. Find the image distance and state its position. By using lens formula, we have 1 over f equal to 1 over u plus 1 over v. The focal length, 10 cm, we substitute f equal to negative 10. 1 over f equal to 1 over u, u, the optic distance is 5 cm. Therefore, u is 5. By this formula, we have v equal to negative 3.33 cm. The negative size means that the image is virtual. And the image distance is equal to 3.33 cm. And the image position is at a position 3.33 cm in front of the lens. Example 8, when an object stands at 20 cm in front of a concave lens, an image is formed at 10 cm from the lens. Find the focal length of the lens. By using lens formula, we have 1 over f equal to 1 over u plus 1 over v. For a concave lens, we have u equal to 20 cm. And v, we have, by substitutions, v is equal to negative 10. Therefore, we have 1 over f equal to 1 over 20 minus 1 over 10 equal to negative 1 over 20. Therefore, we have f equal to negative 20. The negative size means that this focus is virtual focus. And the focal length of the lens is equal to 20 cm.